What's up everyone, Sake Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a very special guest, my beautiful girlfriend, Ashley. Hi. And today we are going to be trying a munch pack and we're going to be doing a taste test for this, which I haven't done a munch pack in about two years now. So I'm really excited because I absolutely love munch packs. So let's get right into this. <laughs> So this is the box with the plastic off of it. I'm really excited. They really improved the look of the box and I can't wait to see what is inside. This is the regular munch pack. So there is about 10 snacks, full size snacks inside. And I honestly can't wait. I think you're absolutely going to love this. Okay, so the first item here, Bisque Rum. And it kind of looks like a chocolate bar, mm -hmm. uh, cocoa flavored. So I'm not sure if this is a chocolate bar or a biscuit, but we're gonna give it a try here and check it out. Okay, so it's actually a cookie. I thought mm -hmm. it was gonna be a chocolate bar. It looks very interesting. Mm -hmm. It smells really yeah, good. Yeah, it does smell good. Like really fresh. And mm -hmm. it looks like there might be chocolate or something inside. So let's give it a little try here. Mm. That's really good. It is good. I can't tell if it's melted chocolate or hazelnut. Almost tastes like hazelnut, but yeah, it has like a a nutty flavor. The mm -hmm. cookie is really hard and crisp, almost like a sweet cracker. But I really like this. It, it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will say, like this is a thumbs up for me. Yeah, like it tastes definitely. really good, really chocolatey, and it doesn't taste like artificial chocolate like some snacks in the past have been. It tastes like real chocolate in this. So mm -hmm. off to a great start. I think this one is possibly. Right now, obviously, first place, it's our first yeah. snack, but I think this could go really far in our rankings. Yeah. My opinion, anyways. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. It's uh, very good, yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. So you picked the first snack. I'm going to pick the next snack, okay. and I'm just going to go right in for one of the chips, because I love chips. The Old Dutch, all dressed. Mm. This, to me, is a Canadian snack. Wow. It smells different than all dressed chips mm. I've had. Yeah. It smells almost like a vinegar... Yeah, vinegar, vinegar forward. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, and they're not ruffled, they're just plain chips. So I'll let you pick yours. And I've never actually had the old Dutch chips. I haven't had old Dutch in a while, actually. Mm -hmm. They're not too popular in my area, at least. But mm -hmm. we're going to give these a try here and see how they taste. Flavor's really good. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a basic chip, in my opinion. Yeah. Very salty. It is very salty, but to me it tastes more vinegar than all dress. Yeah, I get a little hint of it at the back end. Mm -hmm. Front end is more like a vinegary forward flavor. Yeah. Um, the flavor there is really good, is but good, yeah. comparing it to the best Canadian all dress snack, which in my opinion is Ruffles. Ruffles, yeah. <laughs> this one here, it's good, but it's not as good as Ruffles. So we're actually going to rank these ones behind the cookies just because the cookies taste really amazing these ones here we're comparing them to what we know and that's ruffles all dressed mm -hmm. they're not as good as them so these ones are going to go behind the cookies in our rankings mm -hmm. so the next item is what appears to be a cookies and cream wafer we absolutely love everything cookies and cream too, yeah. um it looks like the filling in between the wafers is basically the cookies and cream flavor. So I'm really excited. We're gonna have to split this in two, but mm -hmm. let's give it a try. So it is actually in one piece. Sometimes you get these snacks and they might be broken up a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's all in one piece and it looks really, really good. Um, the smell is amazing. It's really yeah. sweet, almost like vanilla icing. We're gonna split this in two. Here you go. Thank you. And let's give this a try. Oh my god. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. That's really good. It's almost like a buttercream filling. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be cookies and cream. It does not taste like cookies and cream at all. So no, it doesn't. It's really good. Like buttercream with a little bit of chocolate chips, but not overpowering. The wafer tastes fresh. It's not like the cheap quality ones you get for like places like the dollar store wafers and stuff like that. Yeah. This is definitely a quality item. 
I'm going in for more bites. <laughs> I think we're going to finish this before supper tonight. <laughs> yeah. It's so creamy. It is and really fresh. creamy. I thought like most wafers, the innards, like the cream fillings and stuff like that is usually harder because it's more preserved. Mm -hmm. This tastes like it's freshly made buttercream icing. Put in a wafer with some chocolate chips. Like it's so freaking good. Let's see what we rank this. In my opinion, it's the best one so far. Yeah, I, I think it's the best one too. And usually mm -hmm. I don't like the more sweet, but it's sweet in a good way. Like a buttercream sweet. It's not sweet. too overpowering on the sweetness. I love this. Yeah. So this one here, even though it's all gone, this is first <laughs> place for us right now. That mm -hmm. one is amazing. And I've never finished a snack doing a taste test before mm -hmm. until now. So that says <laughs> how good it is. So we actually just went and counted all the items that are in this box. And there's actually 11 items, and I think what they did, because this is a 10 item box, they gave us two of these ones here, which is the same brand. One is Cowtails Strawberry Smoothie, and the other one is Cowtails Caramel Brownie. And I don't know if these are American or not, but I've heard about these, and they're supposed to be really, really good. So here we go. Mine, in my opinion, looks a lot better, but... I think, yeah, yours does look better. <laughs> it looks like, almost like a strawberry cream, and yours mm -hmm. looks like the caramel is the inner parts, and the yeah. outside is the chocolate. Um, let's just try these here. I'm going to try yours in a minute, but okay. let's try these now. Oh my god. Not bad. Not bad. This one's amazing. It's not what I expected. I expected like a licorice feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how to describe the candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, um, it feels like a flavored toffee in a way, but brittle. Like it just falls and melts apart in your mouth. Yeah, it's not like as hard as uh, toffee. Mm -hmm. but and the cream is amazing in this one. I abs absolutely love that. To me, to yeah, to me, this isn't as like caramel brownie as I expected, but... Okay. Yeah, not, not bad. You want to switch? You try mine. And I'll try the caramel brownie one. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm, this one is a lot better. Yeah. This one here is still good, but the chocolate outside almost tastes like a Tootsie Roll. Oh, yeah. A little bit more chocolatey, but Tootsie Roll, basically. Um... I used to love Tootsie Rolls when I was a kid. Not really a fan of them anymore. I guess I grew out of them, but... So maybe that's why it's not really the greatest to me. So mm -hmm. we're actually going to rank these separate. This one here, I'm going to say is last in the first four items, or first three items. This first one here three. goes behind them. Yeah. Um, um, yeah this for one me, here. For me, yeah, I'd say goes um, maybe third place. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd agree with that. It's a, it's a little bit better... Than the chips, in my opinion, if we're ranking them all. Yeah. And it has a really good smoothie flavor and texture to it, even. Yeah. The other one just tastes like a flat out Tootsie Roll. This, this one here has a unique yeah, texture. Yeah, the and strawberry flavor. is not like, it's not an artificial strawberry. It's mm -hmm. a really good strawberry taste. I actually like it a lot. Mm -hmm. That's that's probably, that's way better than the it's caramel. It's way one. better than the caramel, for sure. For sure, yeah. The next item appears to be from Japan or maybe South Korea, something like that, mm -hmm. just based on the text. And this looks like a snack that I've had before, so I don't know if it's going to taste that good. So this is it here, and it looks like a churro, especially with the texture on the outside. Mm -hmm. That smells amazing, though. Wow, it, that smells really good. Yeah. yeah. I'll actually let you take a bite here first, because I think okay. it'd be, be really messy for yeah, me to it rip the part. really crumbly. Yeah. See. You take a bite first. Yeah? No? That tastes actually pretty good. Yeah? It's like, um, I can't put my... It tastes like a cereal. Yeah, cereal, like, um, Captain Crunch, maybe? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, There's a really yes. distinctive cinnamon flavor to it. Mm -hmm. my, my opinion, I'm going to say it's third right now, based on it's amazing. Um, I'm going to say it's better than the Strawberry Smoothie Cowtail, because I'm not really a candy guy. Um, yeah. I yeah. might as, I might even go as far as saying it's better than the first snack, the cookies with chocolate in the center. But those were also really good, so mm -hmm. you call it. Where do you um, want to place this? Place this? Um, I would say it's better than the um, 
the cocoa ones, mm -hmm. but not as good as the cookies and cream. I agree that cookies and cream snack was amazing. It was so good. So yeah, I would say it's second. Yeah, I'm going to place this as second and we'll probably finish it off later, but <laughs> let's just move on for the next item. The next item is going to be a candy. Now, I don't like candy so much, but it is a gummy candy mm -hmm. and it's actually passion fruit flavor. So, could I don't be, know. Could be good. Passion fruit. Could be good. We don't usually good. get passion fruit flavored candies over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited. So this is candy straws. Let's open it up here and try it out. Oh my God. Wow, that smells really good. That's That just smells like fresh fruit to me. Yeah, that does. Let's see if I could just pull out. The smell, uh, it smells too. really passion fruity. Yeah. Yeah. If that's not what I expect. I expected like candy, yeah. regular candy we get. Here's one yeah. for you. I already pulled one out, but, um, and it's covered in sugar. So it's supposed to be sour. I hate sour things. <laughs> Let's give this a try here. It is sour. Yep. I don't like sour. Sour's not for me. I will say, compared to other sour treats that I've had and gummies, the flavor is amazing. The passion fruit really flavor, yeah. Um, I think what's sour is obviously the outside. Mm -hmm. The uh, what I thought was sugar. It's like a little sour. Yeah. I'm definitely not going in for a, sou a, a, sec a sour bite, <laughs> a second bite, just because I don't like sour things. I do like this, but sour things sometimes make me get a sore throat. So if you like it, as, as for like for me, I'm I'm into sour things. So this for me is really good. I okay. like this a lot. Yeah. So the rest of them are gonna be for you. <laughs> but where would you rank this? Because um, I could put it anywhere. Yeah. It's good, no. but I'll for, let you put it. For me, um, I really like them. So for me, I'd probably put them in third place. Third. Third. Yeah. Third. So right okay. after the um, the one that kind of looks like a churro. Yeah. Yeah. I put them. Right we will do that. The smell is amazing, so um, I'm okay with putting it anywhere because the flavors there, it's just sour things are just not for me. So next item is something I didn't even realize what flavor this is. It's blue raspberry. It looks like a little candy, kind of like what we have, Starburst. Mm -hmm. um, strawberry, uh, strawberry. Blue raspberry tango chublies. Chublies, yeah. Chublies. So these are the items here. It's not what it looks like no. on the packaging whatsoever. This is like a mint green color. Mint green. For sure. And what's on the package shows blue, like a bright blue raspberry blue. So did they get the packaging wrong or is this expired? <laughs> I really don't know, but don't know. regardless, we're going to give it a little try here. It looks really like a starburst for me. So hope we like it. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, it's really oh, hard. It's really hard. I got no flavor out of that little teeny weeny bite, though. I'm gonna try it. Oh god! Something tells me it may possibly be expired, or because if this is how it's supposed to be, I can't even bite through it. I haven't even made it through yet. I'm gonna I try just, sawing it. I just did. Oh, that hurts my cheese. I just spit that out. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm going to say that's going to be dead last right now. Yeah, it's not. It's not good. The next item is small, but it feels like there's four little cookies in here. Um, it looks almost like a strawberry filled cookie in a way. So mm -hmm. there's a close up of it here. I'm just going to let it focus, but lighting's mm -hmm. not really the greatest here, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, it almost looks like a little candy candy <laughs> a little cookie like we have here. over here yeah. um i can't even remember I, what they're called strawberry filled or something yeah i can't remember the brand but yeah the, it looks it's uh, just they're really really tiny and you only get four in this package but let's give it a try here mm. tastes just like them a little different but mm, the cookie part's a little bit different yeah mm -hmm. It's different than the cookies we have of basically what this is over here. Mm -hmm. um, not much flavoring inside it. No, I mainly mm. taste the cookie part, but not... So and the cookie's good. It's like a buttery, sweet taste to it, almost like a sugar cookie in a way, mm -hmm. um, which is different than the version we have. But the cream inside, barely any. You can even see the cross section here. You don't even see any of the red strawberry, I'm assuming mm -hmm. strawberry jam. Yeah. Or jelly fill, but um, mm -hmm. still really good. Texture's amazing. Um, just not, 
the same quality as what we have over here. So I'm gonna say that we're gonna rank it after the chocolate biscuits, the first snack that we had, mm -hmm. which is about in the middle part right now. Mm -hmm. We're almost done, we only have two snacks left, so it's definitely nowhere near the best that we've tried today. Mm -hmm. So next item is these gummy spooky spiders. Here they are, we have two different ones. Yours is more like lemon, orange, citrus. Mine has a little bit of every color in it. I see a little purple, red, green. Um, it, one thing I will say with texture, it's really soft. Mm -hmm. So you know it's gonna be hopefully fresh. But let's give these a little try here. I like these a lot. I don't know, I don't know if I like it. Mm. I, I get that, there is a little bit off in the texture. Um, it's all coated in sugar. So possibly what I'm getting, it's kind of like a grittiness. It's a gritty kind of, yeah. And I think that's just from too much sugar, but I really like it. I like gummy candies when they're like this and not hard. Um, so like I'm... Like the flavor of the, like the fruitiness is good. It's just like there's a gritty kind of mm -hmm. taste to it. Um... Not dead last. Not okay. dead last. No, no, no. Okay. Um, definitely before that blue candy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'd say but, even before the chocolate cow tails, because that just tasted like a tussie roll to me. So yeah. Um, but if I were to rank it, I'd rank this probably before. I'd probably probably put this in third right now for flavor and it's like it, it tastes good. And I don't like candies much, but this is something that if I seen it in the store, if it wasn't expensive, I probably would get it once in a while for treats. But we're gonna let's just break even here. Let's put it right behind the chocolate biscuits. That's about the midway part just because I would personally rank it so high, she would personally rank it so low. So we're just going to leave it right in the middle to be honest with you. And the last snack that we have today that is in our munch pack, we saved this for last because we do like a little bit of a spice and it says medium heat. This is another chip, um, just says reggae, reggae on it. Let's give these a try. There's not really much seasoning to go off of so let's just try them. Here's the heat coming. Yeah. It reminds me of flavoring from a Mr. Noodle package almost. I get that in a way. Like in a way, but it has another flavor to it. Yeah, the crisp is amazing. I will say wherever really, this is from. Yeah, they're really good. It's a really crispy flavor. Like yeah. nothing like other chips we have here. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it doesn't taste too greasy. That's one thing about chips. Sometimes they can be extremely greasy. Um, what I got from the flavor is a little bit of sweet at first. Sweet, yeah. It tastes true. really sugary. And that caught me off guard, and that's why I was making that kind of uh, mm -hmm. questionable face. And then all of a sudden the heat kicked in, which I loved. Mm -hmm. But it's not overpowering. Like, it's already gone for me, or yeah. for the most part. Like, it got me my insides warm, but they're amazing, though. Mm -hmm. Like, goddamn. They are really good. The more you eat, I wish this was a full freaking bag. <laughs> this would definitely be a nice snack for tonight. But Yeah. With that being said, where should we rank it? Because I'm going to rank it really high because I really do like it. Honestly, I think they'd be in first place. You think they're going to be first place? Yeah. I, I'd almost say yes. I really wish that we had some of the first place snacks so I could take another bite, but we finished that off. Like, <laughs> we absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. um, that was the, uh, I think I keep relating it yeah. to like a cookies and cream wafer. Yeah. I mean, we still have the packaging. Mm -hmm. This here. But it was more like a wafer, which is really fresh wafer with like a buttercream filling with some chocolate chips. Um, still really amazing and it's almost a tie for me today with that one and these chips. Like these chips are yeah. spicy enough that they're not too spicy that I don't like them. I love spice. This is the right amount of spice. These chips, in my opinion, are done right. So mm -hmm. you, you think these should be first place? I'm, I think so too, yeah. I'm 100% gonna agree. These are gonna be in first place. So this is everything that was in today's munch pack. Again, this is the first, not only video that Ashley's <laughs> in, but this is the first time that you've ever had a munch pack or any food subscription box, right? Mm -hmm. So did you like them? I loved it. I thought it was really unique and I loved tasting all the different flavors from different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was really cool. This was a great munch pack. They definitely changed it up and they did have it shrink wrapped. So all the, every item inside was fresh when we yeah, received it. Really now there was one or two items that are 
within days of expiring, but I think with it being in the plastic, even if it was a delayed a month from receiving it, because I ordered this a while ago, I think it still, still would be open. fresh mm -hmm. inside. So I did mistakenly forget to cancel the auto subscription. <laughs> so there is another munch pack on the way. Um, we probably, if you guys want, we're probably going to do that one together because I absolutely had fun doing this. Mm -hmm, me too. And I love trying new things and I'm glad I got the chance to do a video with you. Me too. And I thought it came out amazing. So definitely that munch pack. If you guys want to see us do it, um, either on camera, let us know in the comments down below. Like this video. Let us know that you guys want to see more from us. Um, otherwise, we might just do that munch pack ourselves and just try the snacks. So let us know if you guys want to want us to do that munch pack in the future for a video on the channel and we'll make it happen. But I thought today it went really well and mm -hmm. I loved all the snacks. So that's a bonus for me. Mm -hmm. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to leave this here. We're going to go and make supper. If you guys liked this video, leave a like, leave a nice comment and we will try to do more in the future. I will see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.